least some of the people responding are, are online a bit uh, about, what, about their views. Yes. Uh, I think that uh, this is a, a, a problem with questionnaires because uh, when you use a questionnaire for uh, research, uh, you have uh, always a component of uh, uh, social desiderability, and so uh, people uh, tend uh, to give answer according with uh, social expectation, and uh, often uh, they. Uh, they presented themselves uh, uh, as, uh, in this case, uh, more empathic uh, than uh, they are. I think that uh, uh, questionnaires uh, are a useful instrument uh, to, uh, to begin uh, to explore uh, a situation, but uh, obviously uh, we need uh, also uh, other kind of research, uh, for example, uh, behavioral and physiological research, uh, in order uh, to, to deepen this, uh, this phenomenon. Uh, and probably I forgot one of the two questions. Ah, okay, this is what we are going to do uh, with our future research. Yes, this is, this is the next step we are going to. Yes. We started with that, and now we are uh, with this first survey based on questionnaire, and now we are moving to skin uh, conductance and the heart rate and other kind of measure just to, to see whether they just uh, lie in different ways or not. And, and, and we hope we can answer at least the impact of this question. Okay. There's a great talk, great research. Um, there's another literature that I'm not sure whether you've looked at it, but I just want to mention it to you. Uh, aside from the medical school and the veterinary medical school effect on empathy issues, that's the high school and secondary school dissection literature. Mm -hmm. And those students who dissect and those students who refuse to dissect and whether the empathy difference is there. Uh, you, you mentioned several possible reasons for the decline. And uh, I just want to add one, uh, possibly. And that is that the, the education is valorizing an objective, analytic, dissecting way of thinking counters and suppresses empathy. So uh, I'm concerned about that. And it seems to me that the kind of curriculum we want to add, uh, animal behavior, but also the teaching of empathy and the teaching of emotional intelligence and the teaching of sensitivity to the human animal relationship and also of course on ethics. I think all of these would begin to counter that analytic dissection kind of posture. Yes, this is a good point. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, in Italy, um, education, both uh, in uh, the high school, uh, at the university, uh, especially for uh, uh, scientific uh, faculties, uh, is uh, uh, very technical and uh, very concerned uh, with uh, natural sciences, uh, for example, uh, biology, chemistry. Uh, I don't think uh, that uh, students uh, receive uh, education in uh, uh, emotional intelligence uh, or, uh, or something like that. I know that, for example, uh, in uh, the human medicine curriculum, uh, there is uh, only uh, a brief course uh, in uh, general psychology. Uh, and so uh, if uh, we lack uh, uh, this teaching uh, in, uh, in human medicine, uh, you can imagine uh, in uh, veterinary medicine and, uh, in, and uh, in faculties uh, involved with, uh, with animals. Uh, I think that uh, probably uh, that uh, would benefit uh, of this kind of, uh, of teaching because uh, when they enter the profession, uh, they have to manage emotions uh, and also uh, relationships with, uh, with people uh, who, who are feeling emotions. Uh, and often they, they feel uh, lost. Just a quick follow-up, if I may. Uh, in the United States, several veterinary schools are partnering with social work departments. Mm -hmm. And so there's veterinary social workers that go over and 
teach some of these things to veterinary students. This is very interesting. Compassion, compassion fatigue, for example, uh, maintaining a better relationship with both the animal and the human, dealing with grief, uh, loss of yes. the animal and the human. So a lot of social work and helping profession kinds of things, coupling with the veterinary curriculum. Yes, I was, <clears throat> I was wondering uh, if you consider uh, the effect of dropouts. That is, uh, uh, I was wondering if, like, for example, uh, after graduating from high school, uh, uh, emotional people, uh, so highly empathic people, uh, would um, enroll in veterinary, veterinary schools, and then maybe for some reason, because too much science or whatever, they drop out after the first year. So in that way, you would get a higher percentage of empathic people in the first year yes. and a lower percentage in the fourth year. Yes. So there would be a natural selection. Yes, indeed. This uh, may happen. Uh, I don't know. Um, because uh, this uh, was uh, our first study and uh, um, wasn't a longitudinal study. And so uh, we, um, uh, we didn't have uh, the same people uh, in uh, the first uh, and uh, in, uh, in the other, in the, in the fifth year. And uh, yes, it's possible that uh, more empathic students uh, leave uh, the, the veterinary course after the first year, and so only the, the less empathic uh, students uh, arrived to, to graduation. And uh, uh, this uh, could be uh, an interesting uh, topic uh, to, to study. Uh, yeah, development. Yes, yes. I mean, just one question there. Yeah, can I make a comment on that? Okay. Because uh, in the study which was done in Cambridge, uh, the same result was obtained, and there was only one student who dropped out oh. in the final year class. So, in Italy, you have more students dropping out, so it's a greater possibility of such an effect. Do we have the result of the published figures are very similar? Gustavo? Yes, I, I agree with all of the reasons you, you suggest for the decline in empathy. Uh, but also, I'm not very confident that we are going to measure empathy not the willingness to care. However, um, I think sometimes to be even more knowledge in the sense that uh, students the first year might say euthanasia. Never. Okay. But then euthanasia could be is if it's really euthanasia is is a is scare of them. So I think it, you should be very careful with the question you, you pose because sometimes you might mix more knowledge with less uh, empathy. Yes, uh, uh, but uh, uh, we also found uh, that uh, uh, students uh, develop uh, develop. Uh, a, a more instrumental attitude toward the animals during the course. And so uh, it seems that uh, not only they reduce their empathy, and uh, this may also uh, be functional in some way, because uh, if they are too, uh, too uh, empathetic, uh, they uh, are uh, a great risk, uh, for example, of burnout. But uh, I think that the interesting data is that uh, there is uh, the promotion of an instrumental attitude toward animals and there is also a correlation between uh, empathy and the instrumental attitude. And so uh, it seems that uh, veterinary education promotes uh, this, uh, this view of animals and uh, this is also suggested by uh, the structure of veterinary curriculum who is uh, very focused uh, on uh, farm animals, uh, animal production and so uh, this is my opinion but uh, um, I repeat this is uh, our first study uh, is in line with uh, studies uh, conducted in, uh, performed in, uh, in other countries uh, but uh, it's uh, a starting point uh, we have not uh, definitive uh, conclusions. 
And uh, in regards to, to the instrument, it's very difficult to find in literature validated the instrument to measure empathy toward animals. To my knowledge, this is uh, the only instrument available which has a good internal consistency. And so, uh, the only instrument that uh, we can use uh, with uh, uh, and uh, which gives us uh, a I don't know how to say. Uh, we, we were uh, confident in using this instrument because uh, it uh, had been used before in other research and uh, it seems to be, to be a valid instrument. Of course, uh, in future we can develop another instrument uh, more focused on empathy uh, in order to control for uh, compassion. But uh, uh, now is, uh, I think, the, the only instrument available, the animal empathy scale. And, and another thing, uh, I don't know exactly, Gustavo, what you mean by knowledge. Uh, knowledge about what? Knowledge about an animal behavior? Knowledge about uh, what kind of knowledge? Uh, I, I did something with students about, I, I was calling not empathy, I was calling mm -hmm. caring for my life more than what I have. And I noticed on one of the students a decline, a small decline, because it was more or less unique. Now, knowledge, I mean, for example, taking care of my life. Uh, I mean, students at first year, that I'm enthusiastic, they might say, all wounded of my life must be, must be, uh, we must take care. Is that when you know what are the real problems, no. you are more realistic. Maybe you are also desensitized, but you are, you, in some cases, you are more realistic. Yes, but uh, I agree. And, and uh, what I would say, apart from what Elisa said, that there are not other instruments so far which are sufficient to, to, to measure empathy or to have an idea of this, it's just this scale and it was not bad uh, the internal consistency, and so we decided to use that in order to make comparisons with other countries, otherwise we can produce a new instrument and uh, just one study and there is no way of saying, okay, this is the same what happens in the UK or the United States and so on. And, but this case has no specific question about uh, uh, things of uh, caring in a particular way or end of life choices. It's not built on uh, pets. It was built on common people and was used with pet owners, non-owners, so it's quite general. And, uh, and I think this, uh, this aspect is not well included and it would be interesting to, to, to investigate this. And the second thing is that uh, um, one thing we, uh, we think, uh, uh, for more knowledge, which is lacking, I think, I'm sorry for my colleague from the veterinary medicine faculty, what I think is that they don't have a vet, a student, uh, neither in the first year nor in the last year, uh, enough uh, training on animal cognition, animal thinking, animal feeling. And if they were taught uh, the things that uh, Brom told us uh, today or uh, Huber uh, showed us today, that even a hen can have uh, a learning process, uh, can feel pain and so on. Probably, I'm not sure about this, this kind of knowledge could have an impact on uh, the way they, they consider animal because it's uh, an added value about uh, thinking, feeling and suffering in animals and I don't think much is, is taught at uh, 